So 11th class, good morning once again. Uh, I have displayed one output question in front of you. Let me give the comment over here. Output question based on list, right? I'm giving you one or two minutes. Go through the question carefully. I have a list with the name odd uh, and the value of the list is uh, one, three elements are one, three and five. Then in the print function, I have this statement. I make working notes over here. List may elements have one comma three comma five. और उसके बाद जो लिस्ट का नाम है उसके साथ मैंने कंकैटिनेट किया ये वाली लिस्ट इज इट पॉसिबल और नॉट रेज योर हैंड फॉर द आंसर बट विद रीजन आल्सो व्हाई इट इज पॉसिबल व्हाई इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल समृद्धि हैज रेज द थंब रिधि सॉरी रिधि ओके रिधि यू आंसर Sir, it is possible because list can be concatenated with another list. Okay, right. Samridhi, you were having the same answer. Raise your thumb if yes. All right, correct. आप दो object को आपस में concatenate कर सकते हो, provided दोनों object same type के हों. So ये मेरी list क्या बन गई? Okay. This is the new list. Itna portion to ho gaya. Ab uske saath ye alag se four list, ek aur list attach hai with the name four. This four means the fourth element of the list. What is the fourth element of the list? What is the fourth element of the list? Yes, Kavya. Four. Four. So first answer will be four. Okay, got it? ये जो बाहर four लगा हुआ है ना, ये index को refer कर रहा है. Now come to this. Odd plus 12, 14, 16. Nay list kya banegi? Who will tell? What will be the new list? Yes, Kavya. 1, 3, 5, 12, 14, 1, 3, 5, 5, 12, 14, 16. 16. Okay. उसके बाहर लगा हुआ है फोर उसके साथ कनेक्टेड है फोर सो व्हाट दैट मींस द फोर्थ एलिमेंट इट इज फोर्टीन माइनस माइनस ऑड प्लस टू फोर सिक्स वन कॉमा थ्री कॉमा फाइव कॉमा टू कॉमा फोर कॉमा सिक्स एंड देन Assess the fourth element. Fourth element is four. Finally, as per this complete function, we are to minus fourteen minus four. We got ten. So this answer is ten, and the above answer is four. Clear? Clear to all? Check it. Understood? All right. Now, I have another concept. I'm going to make a program. 
to initialize a tuple and if element is more than 13 add 3 to it or multiply 3 to it otherwise sorry otherwise multiply 3 to it okay there are question dhyan se pad lo ek tuple ko initialize karna hai and if element is more than 13 you are to add 3 to it otherwise you are to multiply 3 to it agar wo 13 se zyada hai to 3 add ho jaye 13 se kam hai to 3 multiply ho jaye i have a tuple here 11 comma 12 comma 13 sorry comma 14 comma 15 comma 16 okay this is my tuple right and i print the original tuple i print the tuple okay is assignment possible in tuple when i will check whether my element is more than 13 or not i have to assign a new value to the tuple is assignment possible in tuple again kavya same hand yes kavya Sir, no, we can't assign uh, to tuple. We have to convert it either into list or uh, we have to do unpacking. Very right. Excellent response. Fantastic response given by Kavya. I think you all should clap for it. Very nice. We will be converting our tuple into list. Or you can go with unpacking. Unpacking, I will discuss later in the next class. In order to convert this into list, I am using the constructor list and I pass my tuple as a parameter in this inbuilt list function. Ye jo inbuilt list function hai, iske bracket mein maine tuple ko pass kar diya, ye tuple ko list mein convert kar dega because it is possible to make assignment in the list because list is mutable in nature for i in range oh, oh sorry i in range length of list up till the length of list right if a of i more than 13 then we are to add 3 to it otherwise we are to multiply 3 to it right this is what we are going to do agar hamara element 13 se zyada hai तो हमने 3 ऐड कर दिया अगर हमारा एलिमेंट 13 से कम है तो हमने 3 मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया क्लियर टू ऑल ओके लीव अ ब्लैंक लाइन नाउ लिस्ट इज म्यूटेबल इन नेचर हमारे एलिमेंट्स मॉडिफाई हो चुके हैं पर हमें टपल चाहिए था अब आप क्या करोगे अपनी लिस्ट को दोबारा टपल में कन्वर्ट कर दोगे इफ लिस्ट इन बिल्ड फंक्शन इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट द गिवन ऑब्जेक्ट इनटू लिस्ट द इन बिल्ड फंक्शन टपल इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट द गिवन ऑब्जेक्ट इनटू टपल पहले टपल को लिस्ट में कन्वर्ट किया वाया लिस्ट फंक्शन अब लिस्ट को टपल में कन्वर्ट किया वाया टपल फंक्शन ओके एंड प्रिंट 
newly modified tuple is print t am i clear to all documents python program 110122 tuple assignment let us run this code check it out all of you please check it out clear clear to everyone what we have done आप लोग ये कर सकते थे सीधा टप्पल को यहां ले आओ नो पाइथन वुड हैव गिवन द एरर बिकॉज असाइनमेंट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन टप्पल क्लियर एम आई क्लियर टू ऑल सो इनडायरेक्टली वी हैव done the assignment in tuple clear okay so this practical portion i have covered now i am going back to your uh, cyber safety because that chapter will take some time so let us finish it and we can proceed with the revision then uh we have covered all these topics we were on data protection yeah copyright we have done patent we were on patent so i was telling you in the th fourth lecture today that patent patent rights are given on invention when you invent something okay clear when patent is granted when the rights are granted by the law the owner and the inventor inventor is who invented that particular thing the inventor they get exclusive right over their uh, invention okay and they can prevent their invention from being used from being sold or distributing the full control the full rights are granted by the law to the inventor and for 20 years the patent rights are given after that you can freely use it right then is trademark aap nokia ka phone purchase karte ho nokia ka logo laga hota hai you purchase apple iphone apple ka logo laga hota hai aap kisi brand company ke shoes purchase karte ho jaise adidas ke shoes purchase karte ho us pe adidas ka logo laga hota hai so logo means registered symbol in the eyes of law that identifies the product of a particular company or a brand that distinguishes one product from the another brand, the logo of one company cannot be used by the other company nokia ka logo koi aur company use nahi kar sakti samsung ka logo koi aur company use nahi kar sakti वोडाफोन का लोगो को योर कंपनी यूज नहीं कर सकती बिकॉज दे आर रजिस्टर्ड इन दी आईज ऑफ लॉ दे आर यूनिक ओके क्लियर नाउ कम्स वायोलेशन ऑफ आई पी आर हाउ आई पी आर राइट आर वायोलेटेड प्लेगरिज्म ऑलरेडी यू हैव डन दिस टर्म इन नाइन्थ क्लास प्लेगरिज्म का सिंपल मीनिंग होता है किसी और का काम चुराना आपके फ्रेंड ने असाइनमेंट बनाई ओके यू टेक दैट असाइनमेंट एंड यू रिप्रेजेंट इट एज योर ओन दैट इज प्लेगरिज्म इंटरनेट से आपने किसी ऑथर का कोई रिटर्न मटेरियल उठाया और उसको रिप्रेजेंट किया कि वो आपने लिखा है that is plagiarism okay 
so stealing someone's idea and presenting it as your own is called plagiarism right okay now when you are taking anything from internet when you are copy pasting any data from internet you should mention the source from where you have taken that data you must mention the author the book name the author name the site name from where you have taken that data in order to avoid plagiarism right then is copyright infringement beta infringement ka matlab hota hai violation todna break karna ha usne rules tod diye usne rules infringe ki violate ki disobey ki right you are using any image or any text from internet on which copyright was there you violate the copyright issues author ne mana kiya tha ki uski permission ke bina uska kaam koi use nahi kar sakta par aapne use kiya aapne image ko download kiya aap kai bar dhyan do on internet when you click on some image there is one message at the bottom of the image subjected to copyright have you ever seen this line image is subjected to copyright means on that image copyright issues copyrights are there okay so you cannot use that particular thing from internet you cannot download that thing where copyright issues are there okay clear trademark infringement trademark infringement means when you are using somebody's logo in unauthorized way legal action can be taken against you aapne kisi company ka logo illegal way se chura liya aur aap usko use kar rahe ho apne kaam ke liye that is trademark infringement okay then comes open source softwares the entire topic that you cover in the 10th class you might be remembering what is open source software anybody can tell me in simple lines what do you mean by open source software yes please i don't think there is need to think much about it so many times you have covered this term open source a software which is freely available maybe you have to pay some cost but that is very nominal cost easy to modify easy to copy easy to distribute you get the source code for that so that you can modify you can customize that software is known as open source software like mozilla firefox python open office all these are open source softwares you may or you may not have to pay some nominal cost right that is open source now there is one category called free software beta free softwares are those category of software which is totally free for which you have to pay no cost you can change you can copy you can distribute you can modify the software because source code is available so what are the examples of free software linux operating system and vlc media player now one definition is displayed in front of you for the free software what is free software free software is a matter of liberty liberty means freedom free you are free to use not price you are not to pay any price for it it is completely free to understand the concept you should think of free as in free speech it is a matter of users freedom to run to copy to distribute and modify in order to improve the software okay and four kinds of freedom are given what are those four kinds of freedom the freedom to run the software 
फर्स्ट फ्रीडम टू स्टडी हाउ प्रोग्राम वर्क टू फ्रीडम टू रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूट थ्री फ्रीडम टू इंप्रूव द प्रोग्राम एंड रिलीज द इंप्रूवमेंट इन द मार्केट फ्रीडम नंबर फोर ओके गॉट इट देन कम्स सर्टन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टर्म्स certain conditions certain terms which are to be compiled with the open source no restriction on the distribution of software open source software can be freely distribute among each other there is no restriction on it program must include the source code tabhi aap modify kar paoge agar aapke paas source code hai to license must allow modifications and derived works the integrity of the author source code must be maintained okay the license must not discriminate against any person there should be no discrimination ki ye wale log use kar sakte hain ye wale use nahi kar sakte right license must not be specific to a product it should be a journal license not a particular on a particular product then some basic terms are there oss oss stands for open source software beta open source softwares refers to those category of softwares where source code is available where you can easily modify where there are no restrictions where there are no limitations okay and a very nominal amount you have to pay for it then is floss f l o w s the full form of floss is free library open source software beta ek aisa software jo free bhi hai plus open source bhi hai dono ke feature combine ho usme free software ke feature bhi combine ho open source ke feature bhi combine ho that is called floss f l o w s then is g n u beta full form of g n u is not unix unix was command based operating system har cheez ke liye command hoti thi unix ko aage aur modify kiya gaya to graphical based operating system banaya gaya linux okay and gnu means not unix which is not command based which is graphical based basically we call it gnu gnu actually represents an animal a bird and that bird represents the bird signifies that we are living freely we are in freedom okay and gnu project was initiated by richard stallman what was the main objective of gnu to promote the use of free softwares right then is free software foundation fsf beta free software foundation is a non profit organization that is used to support the free software movement ki free softwares ko use kiya jaye ज्यादा से ज्यादा ओपन सोर्स ज्यादा से ज्यादा फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर्स को यूज किया जाए एंड हु फाउंडेड इट रिचर्ड स्टॉलमैन इन द ईयर 1985 देन इज ओ एस आई इन ऑर्डर टू प्रमोट द यूज ऑफ ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर वन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉज क्रिएटेड दैट इज नोन एज ओ एस आई ओपन सोर्स इनिशिएटिव and who founded it bruce parents and eric raymond in the year 1985 the main objective was to promote the use of open source softwares to make consumers clear about all the terms and conditions in connection to the open source softwares clear then is Freeware, बेटा फ्रीवेयर और फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर दो अलग अलग चीजें हैं फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर कहता है कंप्लीटली फ्री इजिली कॉपीड यू कैन कॉपी यू कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट यू कैन 
मॉडिफाई uh, बिकॉज सोर्स कोड इज अवेलेबल फ्री वेयर इज ऑल्सो फ्री यू कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट यू कैन कॉपी बट यू कैन नॉट मॉडिफाई बिकॉज सोर्स कोड इज नॉट अवेलेबल यही स्ट्रॉन्ग डिफरेंस है फ्री वेयर और फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर में ओके सोर्स कोड इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन द फ्री वेयर सॉफ्टवेयर and what are the examples of freeware your internet explorer your google chrome all these are examples of freeware then is w3c world wide web consortium now what was the main objective of w3c the main objective was to promote the standards the policies the plans for world wide web to use the world wide web to its full potential right then is proprietary software proprietary ke bare mein to baatein badi common si hain badi clear hain ye na to free hai na aap isko distribute kar sakte ho aur agar aap karna chahte bhi ho to aapko bahut special permission leni padegi इसके रियल ओनर से रियल वेंडर से सोर्स कोड इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन प्रोपराइटरी सॉफ्टवेयर विंडोज विंडोज पेड है ओरिजिनल विंडोज पेड है आपको पता है जो आजकल के लैपटॉप आ रहे हैं उनमें ओरिजिनल विंडोज है इट इज पेड राइट शेयरवेयर शेयरवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर क्या होता है एक ऐसा सॉफ्टवेयर जो पर्टिकुलर टाइम के लिए फ्री है बट आफ्टर दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज दैट सॉफ्टवेयर यू हैव टू मेक पेमेंट फॉर इट जैसे विंजिप है आपका नेटफ्लिक्स है नेटफ्लिक्स आप शुरू में यूज करो फॉर वन मंथ यू गेट फ्री बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज इट फर्दर यू हैव टू पे फॉर इट यू हैव टू टेक सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर इट ओके सो फॉर अ फिक्स ट्रायल पीरियड द सॉफ्टवेयर इज फ्री After the trial period, if you are satisfied with the software, you want to use the software, you have to make payment for it. Okay, you have to pay for it. That is shareware. Then is copy lefted software. एक होता है original software. उसकी आगे हम different different copies बना देते हैं उसके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वर्जन बना देते हैं। जो टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस ओरिजिनल कॉपी पे थी द सेम टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस मस्ट बी प्रोवाइडेड ऑन द वर्जन ऑल्सो ऑन द कॉपीज ऑल्सो दिस इज कॉल्ड कॉपी लेफ्टेड सॉफ्टवेयर एम आई क्लियर अप टिल हेयर विद ऑल द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑल राइट then comes your concept of open source licenses now beta when you are using the open source softwares you are governed by the open source licenses too as i told you software you can freely copy freely distribute freely modify so licensing provides certain benefits what are those benefits easy for others to contribute protect you as the original creator as i told you ip rights creator get some credit for the work okay and ensures that uh, others do not claim the work of original plagiarism aapka kaam hai aap creator ho koi dusra banda ye claim na kare ki main creator hu theek hai आपको प्लेगरिज्म से भी बचाता है लाइसेंसिंग नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ लाइसेंसिंग फर्स्ट इज सी सी एल क्रिएटिव कॉमन लाइसेंसेस बेटा दीज आर द लाइसेंसेस विच आर इश्यूड बाय क्रिएटिव कॉमन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ एज पर दिस लाइसेंस ये लाइसेंस क्या कहता है कि जो ओरिजिनल क्रिएटर है ये उसके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कि वो कितनी परमिशन देता है दूसरों को 
उसका इन्वेंशन उसका काम यूज करने के लिए मैंने बुक लिखी आई एम द क्रिएटर आई एम द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक इट इज अप टू मी हाउ आई विल डिसाइड दैट अदर पर्सन कैन यूज माई वर्क ओके क्लियर then under this cc license what rights are given to you copy the work distribute the work display the work and communicate the work right am i clear people only need the creator's permission when they want to use the work in a way agar aapko koi kaam karna hai koi product ko use karna hai ya आपको कोई जो भी उसने इन्वेंशन या क्रिएशन की है उसको यूज करना चाहते हो तो आपको ओरिजिनल क्रिएटर की परमिशन लेनी होगी ठीक है देन इज जीपीएल जर्नल पब्लिक लाइसेंस दिस इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एट द मोस्ट कॉमन लाइसेंस फॉर ओपन सोर्स जीपीएल जर्नल पब्लिक लाइसेंस ओके वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ राइट आर गिवन इन दिस you can easily copy the software you can distribute the software you can charge some nominal fees for the software you can modify the software because source code is available am i clear to all then is apache license beta apache license also provide certain rights but less rights as compared to gpl राइट्स आर परपीचुअल इट विल गो ऑन फॉर एवर एक बार राइट्स मिल गए वो चलते रहेंगे राइट्स आर वर्ल्ड वाइड यू मे बी इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऐसा नहीं है कि एक एरिया में है दूसरे में नहीं है राइट्स आर ग्रांटेड फॉर नो फीस और रॉयल्टी यू डोंट हैव टू पे एनीथिंग फॉर अवेलिंग द राइट्स राइट्स आर नॉन एक्सक्लूसिव ठीक है ये नहीं है कि ये वाला प्रोडक्ट पे राइट right है उस पे राइट नहीं है क्लियर एम आई क्लियर टू ऑल 